The World Economic Forum predicts that one of the top five skills people need at work next year is creativity. But many managers find fostering creativity challenging. So to make it easier, we are going to talk about the two types of creativity needed at work, help you identify the type you prefer based on your personality and the type your team prefers, as well as discussing some practical suggestions for creating an environment where creativity can flourish. The two types of creativity are invention and innovation. Both are processes by which something new and valuable are created, whether that is a scientific theory, a musical composition, improving an existing system, or launching a new product. Invention is the process of creating something entirely new that has not been seen before, like the development of the original iPhone. On the other hand, innovation focuses on improving what already exists. For example, every update to the iPhone since it was launched. Based on your personality, you are going to have a preference for one of these. If you're an intuitive, you're more likely to lean towards inventing new things. And if you're a sensor, you're more likely to lean towards improving what already exists. Let me explain why. Sensing and intuition focus on different ways of learning, of perceiving the world around us. And based on our preference, we tend to trust one kind of information and therefore absorb it and then filter out or ignore the other kind. Those with a preference for sensing trust information that is reliable and verifiable, that can be directly experienced, observed or repeated through testing. Sensors prefer information that is more concrete, straightforward and practical. Those with a preference for intuition trust information that can't be so easily seen, that might be their own hunches or insights about the future, or it could be their own ideas or seeing random or unexpected patterns. Intuitives prefer information that is more speculative, random and untested. So sensors preference for known information means they are more interested in the process of innovation and intuitives preference for unknown information means they are more interested in the process of invention. As you might imagine, these differences can cause a lot of misunderstanding, confusion and frustration between the intuitive and sensing members of your team. Sensors will want to apply a proven method that they have used before. Intuitives would rather rely on their imagination to find an entirely new method for approaching the issue. So let's assess your situation. Based on your personality type, do you have a preference for invention or innovation? And based on your team's profile, would your team normally prefer innovation or invention? And then based on your current business challenges, which process do you need more of right now? And then looking at your answers to those questions, where do those preferences align and where do they clash? Whichever your preference, the people on your team using the other style are likely to feel their perspective is undervalued and underappreciated. But to create great things, we need to find a way for both styles of creative thinking to work well together. One way to increase the appreciation for the other style is to realize the different skill sets each brings. In order to innovate effectively, sensors become specialists. They develop deep knowledge about the system, process or product they are working with, able to understand it from all angles and then use that information to figure out how to improve it. Intuitives tend to become generalists developing a wide range of skills that can apply to new challenges in different fields. Skills like sales, marketing, communication, education and consulting, things that can be applied to any situation. Looking at your team, are your sensors able to develop specialist knowledge in their chosen field? And are your intuitives able to develop a range of generalist skills? It's really important to get to know the skills of each and how they want to apply them which will lead to better outcomes no matter what kind of creativity your team and organization needs right now. To learn more about profiling your team and using type in the workplace, go to truity.com forward slash business.